Welcome back everyone, my name is Arvind Reddy and in this video we'll continue from where we left in the last video. So in the last video we have talked about the smart contract, right? In fact we have written our first smart contract and then it was running on the local JavaScript virtual machine. So if you look at the environment, we have JavaScript virtual machine and then we were getting some addresses. We, were, we got some five address and then we can use any of it to deploy the application. And once you deploy it, you can just test it by depositing money or by withdrawing money. But how about if you want to run the same thing on the test network. So I don't want to run this on the JavaScript VM because that's a local. We want to run that on a test network or maybe on the main network. So if you want to achieve that, we have to use Injected Web3. The moment you select that, you can see the default option which I got here is Ring B. Why is because in the MetaMask, these accounts are actually getting fetched from the MetaMask, right? So if you expand this MetaMask, you can see we have Ringbit Test Network here. Let me switch the account. So you can see this is Ringbit Test Network and I have three ethers here. I can use this for the transactions. In fact, you can also move from Ringbit to main network. The moment you do that, you can see it will ask you for the reloading of the page. So let's reload the page. And here, okay, it's done. Let's go back to run. And you can see in the Web3, if you select Inject Web3, you got one address because this is your main network now. So that's how you can switch. So you just have to switch from MetaMask. That's the only option you have. So go back here. We don't want to work on main network because we don't have the currency. So let's switch to Ringbit Test Network. Let's re reload it. Yeah, that's the Inject Web3. And let's select the account. So you got only one address because I only have one account. I guess I have two accounts, but you can select which one you want. Okay, now I want to deploy this on a Ringbit test network. So if you want to achieve that, you have to select the code we are working with. We are working with bank. Let's click on deploy. The moment you deploy it, it will be done on the test network, right? Which is running or as an actual network. So of course you have to spend some ethers. Okay, you're not buying those ethers, by the way, we are using the free ethers, if you remember. Uh, so we have to spend those ethers even for deployment. So when you deploy it, you have to pay the ethers, but then every time someone else is using your network, they will pay for the ethers. If every time they do transaction with your application, they will be paying for the gas fee. So here, the moment you do that, it will pop up the MetaMask Meta notification. We will say, okay, I confirm this. Let's click on confirm. And you can see it will get deployed on this address. So let's click on this address here. It will take you to etherscan.io. And you can see this is a test network. So you can see the moment you do that, it, was, it still says it is pending because it takes some time for it to get mined. I guess it is done. Let me just refresh this page. You can see it is success now. So it was initially it was pending. Now it is success. You got this is the address from to you will see all the details here. That's a block number. Uh, anything else? This is your hash. Let's go back to Remix and you can see it is deployed. So you, this is your deployed contract. So let's go back here and we can perform operation. Get balance will not, not charge you anything. So you can see balance is one. That's what we have done in the code. Let me zoom a code a bit. So you can see that's one, that's your balance. But if I want to deposit some money, let's say I want to deposit 300. The moment I click on deposit here, again, it will charge you, right? Because you are doing a transaction which will change values. So you have to pay the gas fees. Uh, so you have to click on confirm. So this is important, right? It will give you a notification. But in case if you have notification blocked in your browser, sometimes it happens with me as well. So you have to just go here and it will show to confirm or not. But since it is working on my machine, I will do that. So I will say deposit, I will say confirm and it should be done. Again, it takes some time. You can see if I say get balance now, still the balance is one because it takes some time to deploy. So you, you can see we got the confirmation now. So let's click on get balance and you can see it is 301 now. Uh, you can also do withdraw. Let's say I want to withdraw 101. Let's click on withdraw again. Uh, as you can guess, we have to pay for the gas fee. Let's do that. Okay, again, it will take some time. Let's verify if it is still pending or done. So you can see it, is, it says it is pending. Uh, you will get this link in the console. Just click on that and you will see this page. Uh, in fact, your browser will also give you notification once it is confirmed. 
So let's wait. Okay, so when you click on get balance now, uh, we got 200. So that's how it works. That's how you can uh, use your test network. The only thing is we were not, we don't want to spend money on the main network and that's why we are using Ring B. But the same thing will work on the main network if you configure that. So just go back to your MetaMask, switch back to main network, buy some ethers and you're good to go. And if you can see, initially we were having around three ethers and now we have 2.9998 ethers. Uh, so yes, we have spent some ethers here. So that's how we can use RingB network to test the application. So I hope you got some idea in this video, how do you work with RingB with your Remix. Uh, in the next video, we'll do something amazing. In fact, in the next video, we'll try to connect the front end with this blockchain. So when you say front end, the normal web page, maybe a simple web page, which will connect with this blockchain. So that's it everyone. Bye-bye.